Didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Let's teach you guys how to jump rope. Jumping rope, we're working on your timing, and you're making sure that your arms and your legs and your mind are all working together. You can see the time. Just a doesn't do It's pretty big, pretty big deal. So, a lot of people will start with their feet together like this. Yeah, but they do that little baby bounce in between usually. It messes, makes you mess up because you can't be consistent with it. Yeah. So you're just waste, waste energy. energy too much time. Another way to do it is people like to run in place. Notice how, how he's going on the toes. He's not landing flat foot, allowing the entire foot to touch the ground. A traditional way that a lot of boxers like to jump rope is this. I guess they call it the boxer stiff. I don't know. Boxer what shuffle. Call it. Boxer shuffle. Yeah, boxer shuffle. Sounds better. Have this little kick. Yeah, yeah. Heel toe, to heel toe, heel toe. Obviously, the main thing is consistency, and that's why it's so hard doing the same thing over and over again. How not to jump rope? You break that down. Notice that when I jump, I'm not really bringing my legs up in the air with me. Uh, I keep my legs straight. I'm just really pushing off of my toes. And that's going to really work your calves. Your calf muscles. That's, it's another benefit. Breathe out as you jump up. And the reason it's why so I do that, why? Hmm? Why do you want to breathe out? Well, because you want to engage your core muscles and you want to condition your breathing. You want to make sure that every, with any exercise that you do, you have to breathe. If you don't breathe, you die. So that's right, human. It's necessary. Yeah, my, yeah. my core is kind of like... Sucks in, hollow. part of it's the breathing and just engaging my core muscles. You hollow it out. Yeah, it's, it's like a hollow body. So, so you can actually work ab muscles while you're doing it. I don't know what to call this move. It's, a, it's another variation of a cross. What the heck is that? So like a normal cross is going to look like this. There's a cross in and both feet, both feet are on the ground. It's kind of like, like if you're going to double jump, it looks like this, like you showed here earlier. So you're gonna cross in the air while you're double jumping. Oh, my days. Oh, your days work. <laughs> I don't, I don't twist. I don't cross like, over cross my yeah. arms. They just, they're just in the same spot. It just like gets me going. Like it's a, it's a easier way to to start. And then we jump in to open up. So you okay. Just open your arms. Up. Show me how you open it up again. All right. That's pretty easy. That's where you leave it. You basically, it'll go to the sides, and you just, when it gets to the middle, you jump through it. Yeah. Well, I like that. And then we can get started. All right. So how to cross? Cross. Let me give you guys a demonstration first. I always mess up when I cross over. Okay. Well, my yeah, that's where I mess up right there. Yeah. Well, me too. And it's okay if you mess up, just keep moving and keep trying if you mess up, it's all right. So like when you when you cross, get get, get in a good rhythm of jumping rope and being able to do it consistently just, just in a standing position. Okay, so once you have basic. So once you have this, this motion down, mm -hmm. you literally just cross your arms to your waist on the other side. Where do you want the rope right to be here. at when you cross your arms? The rope should be, like you should see it coming. It should be about like right here. Okay. And then you cross. Like when, as soon as you see the rope, then you just cross. All right, the rope is tied up here. Okay. So before it touches your feet, you're crossing it over above your waist. Jump over it. I want to know when you come back. After it passes your feet, you cross back. It looks like. Right. Okay. How to turn around when you're jump roping? Nobody can turn around when they jump rope. Well, let me show you how to do it. All right. You can do this. Ah, uh, what? Right. What? Please explain. So, pay attention to like the direction that the rope is spinning the entire time. No matter which direction I'm facing, the rope is still going the same way. So if I start mm. off this way, I'm gonna end up just jumping rope backwards. 
So there's a couple of things you gotta master before you just turn around. Yeah, you can't just turn Very around. Very simple motions that you gotta be able to do. One of them is this. This little motion From Side right to here. side. So you notice how arm his side arms side are so side. parallel when he's going side to side, yeah. Bring the arm side to side. You don't cross over your arms like that. Just keep them in the same way, but you're just keeping a rhythm while you're going to each side. If you can't do that, you can't turn around. You can't turn around if you can't do that. Another thing is being able to jump rope backwards. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should be easy, right? Easy enough. But how do you think about the transition? How does the transition start? The transition is gonna start with that first motion I showed you this. So like you're in your rhythm and you're jumping. And then you're gonna come here. You're gonna have this going. Okay, so you wanna change your rotation kind of. Yeah. So that gets you spinning. Now, pay attention to my feet when I jump. There's gonna be a quick little pivot. I just get on oh, one of my toes. Like a military spin. Like right, you're exactly. Around. Like if you're about face. Military, yeah, about face. I'm gonna do it slow again. You're gonna have this little motion. So you have on. that crossover thing. Boom. Oh, we got to break that down and put that one in slow motion.